Here we go. This is the final of the lightweight division between Johnny Tama and his opponent. One second here. Igor Rodriguez. Final of the lightweight. Well, again, this is a uh, two guys that we've never Whoa. seen in the finals before in a ballistic start from Johnny Tama. I'm not sure if that was a tackle or a guard pull. <laughs> Bit of both, to be honest, but classic Johnny Tama just loves going out there and making it a scrap and immediately on the attack is the Ecuadorian black belt in the black and white shirt. Igor Rodriguez on top in black. Both time for the first time for these men fighting in the black belt world championship finals Rodriguez was the champion at the Brazilian Nogi Nationals just a couple of months ago and Johnny might be winning his both of them might be winning their first world title here at the black belt level And Johnny Tama there with the reverse to La Hiva. Rodriguez with the knee slice attempt. Nice step over. Great job. Man, Mr. Rodriguez Chief. has got some nice techniques. I got to say, we saw it in his earlier matches. He's looked really sharp, but well, Tama's a scrapper. He likes to, uh, he loves the, the, he loves the open game. Yeah, he, well, Rodriguez has got to try to connect his hands there. If he can connect his hands, he might have something to work with. Generally speaking, double, double unders without connecting your hands is not a good position. Nice Beautiful transition. Throw by Here's a leg lock attempt for Tama. They're going to end up at the 50-50. Just over eight minutes left. And Rodriguez on top in that 50-50. Scoring the adva advantage for Tama. They give him the advantage for that knee bar. So this 50-50 right here, it's uh, definitely looks in favor of, uh, oh, that's now, okay, that was completely changed. So that foot in the back of the knee there from, uh, from Tama gives him a possible calf crush entry should he be able to get underneath the other, the free leg. Correct. He's got to get underneath uh, Rodriguez's left leg and then he'd have a calf slicer. But it's longest to travel from where he's at. I'm not sure he's going to be able to do it. Let's see. Okay, so Igor Rodriguez up and out. But I'm liking what I see so far, Robert. It's, it's action packed, some interesting positions. They're definitely feeling each other out in these first three minutes. I think it'll be interesting to see what goes from here and whether one's able to find that opening that they're looking for because they're both very open grapplers i think that's what we can say right now yes very technical very open game which i like um tama with the one advantage here and in a good situation now because rodriguez has the top position he's got a pass here and johnny's got a very good open guard no joke to pass this guard and he's dangerous all the time, right? We were talking earlier, he's a very aggressive, very dynamic fighter. He's always dangerous. Just over six minutes left in this final. And yeah, Rodriguez got to really be more aggressive here. Path to the final for these men. Johnny Tama took out the Japanese black belt, Tomoshigi Serra, Natan Chung, and Fabio Kaloy. Igor Rodriguez had to fight his way through Fred Alves and Atos Miranda. So this actually makes the third Alliance black belt in a row that Igor Rodriguez has fought in this tournament. He's on the Almost all Alliance competitors. Well, it tells me the division is stacked with Alliance competitors. They probably have team one, two, three, maybe even four. It's good. Good for the team. 
And Johnny here, still with the lead, very focused. You know how bad he wants that world title. Back to that double under passing position. Yeah, I wonder if Rodriguez really wants to fight for that position. He seems he lets go pretty right away. He should be trying to either control one leg or double under hook and then control with a connect. Johnny turning in for the Ben Bolo coming Beautiful. up with a leg now. Nice. If he could get the hips down to the mat. <laughs> well, that's Johnny Tamer for you. Midway through the, the reversal attempt, throws up that flying triangle. And no advantage. Given advantage, and he took it back. I feel like Johnny Tama, he maybe should have gone after that reversal a little bit longer, tried to put Rodriguez down before throwing up the, uh, the flying attack. But hey, sometimes you've got to go all in, right? Correct. And Johnny is fully committed to this gold medal. He's focused, he's ready. He's been like, he's like one of those guys that's right there, every competition. He certainly deserves this world title. He's still got another three minutes and 40 seconds. Rodriguez might pull something off, you never know. Rodriguez is, uh, he stopped advancing now. A couple of times that he has gone forward, he's been met with good counters. Yeah, Johnny's got a really good reverse to La Hiva. He inverts so easily. Yeah. Tama's pretty good at getting those legs in, playing that a game of sticking the hooks into the back of the knee. He was hunting for calf crushes earlier, and the reverse to La Hiva game. He's definitely very competent in that position. No doubt, and he just has a really easy time getting underneath people, which makes it difficult to pass, because every time you're trying to knee cut, he just gets underneath you. You know, uh, Rodriguez really look at different strategies, different ways of trying to pass uh, Thomas' guard. I don't think that knee cut to his left side is going to work. Double ankle control from Johnny Tama here. He's got the... the Scoop grip underneath, but Rodriguez pulls out, rips out and away. Reset position now, two, just over two minutes remaining. One advantage separates them. Yeah, Rodriguez got to really switch gears here. Oh, oh, big oh huge cut. Oh, oh no. Bad. It looks like it was a clash of heads during that flying guard pass and that has immediately opened up a gigantic cut over the eyebrow of Johnny Tama. There's blood absolutely everywhere all over his face in the mat. Totally uh, totally unintentional of course. We don't necessarily need to see a, a replay of that particular moment. Um, a little unfortunate. We really hope that this doesn't prevent Tama from continuing because right now He's one advantage up, and if you know, the injury forces him out, then that would be a win by default. So, it was the oh, knee. it looks like it was the knee. It wasn't the head. It was yeah. actually the knee. He dropped on, but look at that! Immediately opens and up a cut on the head, and, and extremely unfortunate. So, I let's saw hope that they can. Right. No, I mean that was right. over, it was a blink of an eye. But yeah. let's hope that they can patch him up and he can continue because there's only just over a minute left in this match and if that's how this ends then that's oh, heartbreaking he will be so disappointed if they stop this i'm really hoping that's not the case uh, even for rodriguez i'm sure he doesn't win the win i mean if you really ask him, he might want to win anyway really but I, it's not the most rewarding way to win you know by by the fault sure johnny would be very disappointed if they stopped this they need to just tape up his head and hope that it holds. We don't have much time left. It should be okay. Yeah. 
And let's see what the medic's going to say. Well, we've seen it before. They'll do their best. They'll put some padding on it, and they'll, they'll tape him up. And I think that there's an option. It's, it doesn't seem to be uh, directly over the eye. It seems to be just off to the side, just above the, uh, just on the edge of the eyebrow, the corner. But yeah, it doesn't. Well, I can't really see from here. Well, a lot of blood came out relatively quickly, so it, you know, that suggests that there's a lot of blood, but not a big cut, but not necessarily. It might be a small cut. We don't know for sure yet. Hopefully, he'll be okay. And here we go. We're going to bandage him up. Johnny Tamlin's going to do his best mummy impression. Hopefully the bandage will stay secure for the remainder of this match. There's certainly not much, not much left. Fingers crossed you can see this one out without too much interruption. Hard-working medics attending to Tama, getting him patched up and ready to go back out there. I'm glad they're letting them continue. Here we go. Fantastic job done by Omedics in getting Johnny Tama ready. And back at it. So we got two minutes, two minutes remaining in this match. Just that one advantage that separates them. I just really hope that the rhythm hasn't, hasn't uh, affected them too much, this, this pause in the action. Oh, but Eagles come back out strong. Look at that side-to-side -side yeah. guard passing. Yeah. He knows that he's got to get this done. Yeah, he needs to. And I wonder if, like, if that patch is, like, blocking Johnny's vision a little bit and if that's going to be a bit of an issue or not. Hopefully it won't. Rodriguez again with underneath the leg there. Yeah, maybe try to get that to force Johnny on his knees. That would be an idea. He's trying to pin the leg with his foot, trying to step on it. It's an arm drag attempt from Tama up onto the reversal. Gonna come around and take it back. He's gonna take it back in bounds. If he can stay on That's top. That's gonna be two. Oh, they took him back into the center. Are they gonna give him the advantage of the two? Just the advantage, but still. That's huge. That yeah. is big, but Tama, man, just running out of space. So close. And he can barely see. That's the yeah, thing. Yeah, that's like, the problem. Uh, he's blind. His eyebrows are being pushed down by the tape on his forehead is very difficult for him to see wow. effectively. Warrior, like they, they taped it too close to his eyes. He's got to move that thing up. Well, there's a question. Did Rodriguez pull? Tama's trying to push the, uh, there he has, he's yeah, pushed yeah. the bandage up a bit because he couldn't see now. He's got better, much better vision. At least through the left eye, right? Rodriguez has got to try and sweep. This is the first time we've seen him on bottom in this entire match. Going for the leg attack. Beautiful attacks. transition. He needs to finish. He needs to finish if he wants to win. Oh, nice. beautiful move by Johnny Tama. Kicks Rodriguez away. 30 seconds left. Yeah, Johnny's got to keep the pressure here because Rodriguez got every reason in the world to give everything and leave Spoiling everything on the match. Spoiling right onto the back. Beautiful. Turns it into a back take. Oh, good work by Johnny Tamer coming over onto the mount. Wow. He's going to lead this match to the mount. Yes. Ten seconds remaining, four points. Yes, great Seven points. performance. Oh, what Beautiful. an ending. What a dramatic ending to this lightweight final. Johnny Tamer is so going to be happy. the 2019 lightweight champion. Wow. Beautiful performance. What a fight. That could not have been a better finish. No. It was all on the line. Tama, 
he looked in dire straits. The stoppage took the momentum out of the fight, but they both came back strong. <laughs> and Johnny Dammer showed that he has the heart of a champion. I'm so happy for him, man. That was such a beautiful performance. Dramatic till the end. He, could, he was wrestling. He could barely see. I was like, I, could he actually see his opponent there? And he's wrestling with the guy. And that mount at the end, man. Where, that back take to mount, where did that come from? From the wrestling, the, from the defense, the sprawl. I mean, Rodriguez had to open up. He had to go all out, and he did exactly that. But Johnny Tama paid the price in blood and sweat to become the champion here at the 2019 World Nogi Championships. What a performance. And here's the replay, ending the match in the mount. It all started from that sprawl, managed to turn the wrestling defense into a back take and finished out in possibly the best position you could hope for. Huge, huge win for Johnny Tama, who is incredibly emotional right now, celebrating with his teammates and friends. What a match. Well, they're dragging him over to the, uh, to the podium. And Johnny Tama is going to go collect his well-deserved and hard-earned gold medal. And we'll be back shortly with the middleweight final coming up soon. <laughs>